Hi, and welcome to Stephen Hellwig Talks Tech. Today I'm gonna to be unboxing and taking you through a setup and my first impressions of the OnePlus 9 5G. For the last couple years, I've had a Pixel 3 smartphone and it's been a great device, um, especially the camera, which I really love. And you guys have seen me use it quite frequently here on this channel, but it's time for an upgrade and I decided to go with the OnePlus 5G. So I'm excited to unbox this, uh, show it off to you guys, uh, go through the setup process and give you my first impressions. If you're new here to Stephen Howley Talks Tech, we appreciate every like and subscribe. We're trying to quickly get to a thousand subscribers. So if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell if you want to get notified, uh, like and share this video with uh, your friends. All right, let's get to the unboxing. All right, we have the device here. So let's uh, open it up. It comes in this beautiful red box, this deep red, it says, co-developed with Hasselblad on the bottom. I'm actually not too sure what that means, but I will have to look it up here in a little bit. Um, as you can see on the back uh, specs here, it has eight uh, gigs of RAM and 128 gigabyte hard drive, and I got the winter mist color. So let's get it open. All right, put that down and see if we can get this little tool in here to kind of Ugh. Okay, yeah, it wasn't so successful on that one. You can see the sticker actually pulled up, but that's all right. I'll move this back here. Okay, pops off really nicely. Oh, Hasselblad, of course, that's the uh, camera manufacturer, it seems like. And you can see there's an NFC detection area here. Wireless charging, I think that's what it's showing us. So you can see the uh, camera in front of the device. Very nice, good weight to it, not too light, but not too heavy. Inside the box, it says never settle. So we'll lift this up, we'll get back to the phone in a second and we'll see what's under here. There's some things inside this box, we'll set that aside for now and come back to it. So here it comes with a charger, USB-C on both ends. So it's a USB-C power supply. It's, it's not cheap, you know, these things are, uh, are newer. You don't have a ton of these lying. I don't have a, personally have a ton of these lying around. And then this nice red cable as well, that's USB-C. As you can see, it'll be USB-C on both ends. Awesome. And these interesting little cable clips here, which are pretty cool. Okay, so we're just gonna put that back in there for now. See if we can get this back in here. Put this back in here. I don't think there's anything underneath this. Okay, so we'll set the box to the side. And let's see what's in here. My guess is instructions. We'll see if there's anything else. So no, I think this is padding here. Let's see if there's anything. Yep, so that's mostly padding. And there are these instructions. So welcome, it says. And you have the little um, SIM pin here to take the pin out. And this little note that they put in here kind of unfolds. It's pretty neat. It says, hi there, new OnePlus phone. Uh, this is the new OnePlus phone and it's all yours. What's in the box is the achievement of countless people, not just from within OnePlus, from the global community of users. And it goes on from there. And it has a digital signature from the CEO and founder, Pete with their tagline, never settle. So that's pretty cool, a little note. Uh, quick start guide here in various languages, safety information, some kind of SAR, and then cool, stickers. Neat, so stickers you can use for computer or some other kind of device with their tagline and the OnePlus logo. Very cool. All right, so we will put this back in the box. That SIM pin will come in handy a little bit later. When I transition out of this pixel, for now, we'll set it to the side and let's take a look at the device itself. Okay, so I'm gonna remove the film here. Oh, this little thing here, it has an in-screen, uh, in-screen fingerprint reader. It says to use 
uh, screen protectors from OnePlus and our official partners. I did buy a screen protector off Amazon, so it'll be interesting to see if it works. I did read some of the reviews on that screen protector and they said it worked really pretty well with the fingerprint reader, so, or the sensor, so I'm optimistic, but if not, I'll have to buy another one. I always use screen protectors on my phones, learned that the hard way. Um, they've saved me countless times. So you can see here, uh, you have the front facing camera built into the screen, edge to edge display. It almost feels like it has a screen protector already on it. Um, this, it's like a little raised here. So it'll be interesting to see if that's something that I'm supposed to remove or not, it doesn't say. Um, you can see there's a switch here for on, I'm assuming, power. Uh, there's another button here on the side. Maybe this is power. Maybe this is a silent switch, similar to what the iPhone has. And then you have a volume rocker on this side here. And then you can look at the lenses, very pretty. And I got the, the mist color, so it has this sheen to it that kind of changes color as you move around. It's kind of like white and purple um, all at the same time. You can see it here. Pretty nice, beautiful device. So excited, it's larger than my Pixel. I'm actually recording with the Pixel, um, the top-down view here with the Pixel, so I can tell you it's a significantly larger than the Pixel, and I think there was a Pro version of this as well that's even bigger. So I just went with the regular one, um, and they came, it uh, was $799 um, from, or $749 I think, from, uh, for directly from OnePlus. All right, so I'm gonna turn this on and we'll show you a little bit about the setup process. Okay, let's turn it on and see what the setup process is like. We'll hold the power button down here. There we go. See the OnePlus logo and it says powered by Android at the bottom. Okay, looks like it's doing a little loading here. Okay, just a sec. Okay, so now we can hit the start button and we'll agree to the terms and conditions and connect to a mobile network. I'm gonna skip this for now. Um, since I'm using the Pixel here to record, um, I'll get back to this a little bit later. And we'll, I'm gonna put in my Wi-Fi information here. Okay, so it's connecting to my Wi-Fi network. And it says it will take a few minutes. It's installing some updates. Okay, so we'll give it a second to install updates. All right. So now it's asking me if I want to copy data. And since I was using an Android before, this should be pretty seamless. So we're going to go here um, and say, we're going to back up from the cloud. Actually, let's see if we can, well, since I'm recording with my phone, I don't necessarily want to back up from the device. I don't know if it'll stop recording. So we'll see if we can log in with my Google credentials here. So give me a second to do that. All right, and so I'll need to do something on my Pixel 3 to verify. So let me pause this video and come back. Okay, so I was able to confirm that it was me logging in. That was my two-factor authentication. And these are the things that it's saying here that I can copy over. So I'll say, yes, I'm in. And I agree. And it's getting the account info. Okay, so it is the account info and you can see it's edge to edge right so you see the camera the front facing camera here is in the screen which is this is my first device that did that on the pixel 3 it has a notch that went around the camera and around um, the speaker or the micro yeah the speakerphone um, but this is kind of edge to edge okay so i can restore i have a backup from 46 minutes ago which is good all right now i got to confirm my lock on my old device if i can remember it Okay, and then it's asking me what I want to restore. So SMS messages, device settings, call history, um, apps, contacts, so I'll restore all of it. And it's saying just a sec. And so I think while it is uh, downloading my, my apps and all that stuff, I can go continue to go through the process. So um, back up to Google Drive, I will say yes on that. Okay, so yeah, I generally don't back up my photos, um, but 
uh, I do like to back up everything else because then you can restore when you get a new device. Um, allow apps and services with location permission to use the device's location. Yes. Allow scanning. I'll take no on that. Don't need to send diagnostic data. Install updates. So I'm going to click accept. And I'm going to click continue setup. All right. So check out what, no, I don't want to do that. I'm very familiar with Google Assistant. I'm going to skip the voice match for Hey Google right now. I don't really use Hey Google that much. Yeah, let's see here. Set up a few more things. Add another email account. Not right now. Um, change font size. Review additional steps. No thanks. Let's just see if I uh, can get the phone going here. Okay. So it's saying getting the phone ready. This may take a few minutes. So we'll let this go and we'll come back. Okay, next thing it says is co-creation labs. Participate in the OnePlus co-creation user programs to get the latest information and better system experience. Please join, accept the terms below. Uh, let's just see, timely updates, um, push notifications, system stability, products. I'm gonna skip this for now. Okay, all right, now I need to set a lock screen pin. So I'll do that here. Gonna confirm, awesome. And let's see, how do you want the lock screen? I'll say show all notifications on the lock screen and then fingerprint declaration. Okay, yep, we're gonna do that. Say don't show again. All right, so now I'm gonna try to do the fingerprint. So we'll test it here. Okay. So just the position of my finger. Okay, fingerprint added. So I'm gonna add another. I'm gonna do the right hand now. Okay, let's try a different, okay, good. So added two. All right, so now it's asking for which font I wanna use. Yeah, I like their font. I'm gonna go with their one plus sans as they call it. And navigation gestures. Let's go with the buttons. I like the buttons. And it says it's ready. Okay, so I've been using the Microsoft launcher for a while, but in this case, I wanna try the one plus launcher um, just so that I can get comfortable with the device and see what it's like. Oh, it's pretty nice, a little effect there. The screen is absolutely gorgeous. See my Google News there. That's really nice. Smooth. I love how it goes edge to edge. Um, the camera not cut out really is not that big of a deal because that's where your notification area is anyway. Let's see, it just kind of comes down. Yeah, that's really nice. Let's uh, kind of see uh, this button here. I think this turns alerts on and off, so I felt it. Oh, there's a, th it's actually three. You see here, that one kind of like give a little double pulse. That's vibrate mode. So that's when it's in the center. Uh, it won't ring for an incoming call. This is ring all the way down and then all the way up, I assume is silent mode. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like that. So it's like, it's, it has three settings. So I'm gonna leave it in vibrate. That's generally where I keep my phone. Have your power button here. Okay, try the fingerprint reader. Okay, very nice. And then your volume rockers. Good. Awesome, I wonder if I can, let's try that again. Yeah, awesome. Uh, say yes to that. So if you double tap on like uh, Android phone, double tapping the power button will open up camera. So I was just testing to see if that same functionality worked here. It comes, the video comes in the kind of a square mode initially. I'm guessing that's something that can change. Usually I use a different setting instead of four by three. Uh, let's see here. Okay, yeah, so you can go a different aspect ratio. So. Um, I'll have to do a field test outside. I'll do that tomorrow maybe and take a couple pictures um, that I'll use here. But so far it looks really nice. 
I'm gonna continue to use the OnePlus launch for now. Awesome. Well, initial impressions, uh, I'll tell you here in one second. I'm gonna use it for maybe a day um, and then I'll take some pictures with it, see what it's like, and I'll let you know in a second. All right, it's been a couple days since I've had a chance to use the OnePlus 9 5G and I wanna just give you my first impressions. Before I do, apologies for the slight tilt in the video in the previous section, trying some new things here on the channel uh, with a different camera setup and tripod, must have had it at a slight angle, but we'll try to do better the next time. For now, let me tell you uh, what I liked about this device, right? So first thing is the screen. The screen is fantastic. Much larger than the screen I had on the Pixel 3. Um, it's bright, it's clear, it's the scrolling is smooth, the videos look great. So I really enjoyed the screen on this device. Um, I've not had a device of this size before, so that's kind of new for me. Uh, but overall, I think the screen is fantastic just in the short time that I've had to use it. The other thing is the size of the device. It's quite a large device, much bigger than my Pixel 3. Now, I think for some of you, you're like, well, this is just a normal size phone. If you're changing out phones or if you've had a phone in maybe the last year, this is kind of the size of phones nowadays. And so it's a little bit something for me to get used to. Uh, you know, you kind of got to hold it with your pinky kind of under it to stabilize it, or you got to go two hands at times. I personally like smaller phones, but they, they really don't exist much anymore. So just getting used to the size of this device, it's okay, I, I don't mind it. There's some benefits to the screen real estate. I personally like something a little smaller. The camera is fantastic. Uh, it has three lenses on this device. Um, each three lens gives you like a different shot. So there's one that gives you kind of a wide angle view, one that gives you kind of a normal shot, and then one that does a close up. I took uh, some pictures that you're seeing right now that, uh, with the, the different lenses at the same distance so you can see what it's like using the at the same distance using the different lenses what kind of shot you get um, and so it the quality of the picture is fantastic um, and then just being able to to make those quick changes get a little bit closer angle without having to run up close to something is really cool too so love the camera I'm most excited about that feature I've used a front-facing camera as well which is fine I mean it's a front-facing camera you're using it for video conferencing or maybe some pictures but um, I'm not much of a selfie guy so I'm not going to spend a lot of time on that one as far as stability of the operating system, so far, so good. Uh, one of the reasons I used a Pixel for so long is I really just wanted to use stock Android. I've had bad experiences with uh, custom Android ROMs over the years, and I wanted something that was just straight from the manufacturer, from Google, the software uh, manufacturer, and then, you know, constant updates. And I've had that with the Pixel, fairly stable device. Some battery life issues, but fairly stable. But this one, um, it, so far, it looks stable. I've already received an update from OnePlus. It looks and feels like stock Android. So I'm gonna, um, you know, wait to see after a couple weeks, but I'm optimistic about this. Lastly, on the battery life front, so far the battery life has been decent. It's getting me from the beginning of the day to the end of the day, right? That's kind of what you want. It's not gonna carry me through to another day. I haven't had a phone be able to carry me through two days or a day and a half in a long time. So um, the battery life so far is so good. I'm at 3.17 in the afternoon when I'm recording this and I'm at 60% battery life and I haven't charged it since this morning. That's pretty decent. Now, uh, in the first day, I was really using it heavily. I was installing a bunch of stuff, logging into a bunch of stuff. So that I think maybe drained it a little bit more than um, kind of a normal use where it's in my pocket a lot. I take it out for some things, but I'm not using it all the time. One other little bonus thing, I bought this device directly from OnePlus's website, and I found out that it comes pre-installed with a screen protector, which I love. I bought a screen protector off Amazon, I was about to install it, and I just noticed, and you notice in the unboxing too, I was kind of unsure because there were some ridges around the device. Um, I contacted their support and they said that it does come with a screen protector pre-installed. So I've coupled that with a, a you know $15 case off Amazon, uh, plus the screen protector, I feel comfortable that this device is gonna carry me through in really good condition for a couple years. 
Thanks again for joining me here on Stephen Helwig Talks Tech. I hope you enjoyed that unboxing and first look at the OnePlus 9 5G. As always, we appreciate every like and subscribe here on the channel. So if you are first, if this is your first time here on the channel or you've been here before and you haven't yet hit that subscribe button, hit it now um, and hit the bell if you wanna get notified. I love to hear from you all, so leave a comment below. Let me know what you liked. Let me know which feature you were most impressed with, impressed with, or let me know what you'd like me to review in more depth in a future video. All right, thanks for joining me again. Bye.